Coming at you from the Midlands of South Carolina, I'm in a forested floodplain to talk about how I photograph synchronous fireflies. These guys have a scientific name of Photurus frontalis, but they're affectionately known as snappy sinks. After my first few times photographing the synchronous fireflies, I started coming out during the day to explore the parts of the forest that I couldn't see at night. Because, well, it's dark. And you can't see where stumps are, where fallen trees are, where a bunch of bushes are going to get in your way. These guys are kind of rare and their lifespan is only about two weeks long, starting in mid-May each year in this part of South Carolina. They're in other parts of the United States, but at different times of the year. I've been photographing these synchronous fireflies for five years now, with over 100 hours in these South Carolina swamplands standing around in the dark at night with deer grunting at me. But I'm not startled by them anymore after I was able to visually confirm that the grunters were deer. If you're trying to photograph synchronous fireflies, you need access to them. It's just like any other subject matter in photography. If you're trying to photograph prisoners, you need access to a prison. Same concept, but that's a different video. Now I typically come out about an hour before sunset. I'll find my shot, set my gear up, compose the image, and then wait for the magic to start. So let's talk about the gear. I shoot on a Sony A92 with a 7200 2.8. I use a Manfrotto tripod with the Pixel Pro timer remote. Remote, very important. A headlamp with a red light, Ulanzi mini tripod, night eyes glow stick, snacks, and a 511 Skyweight utility chest pack, a scarf to keep off the mosquitoes. So I have these rechargeable glow sticks and I use them to find focus in the dark at night. I can place them where my subject is or where I think my subject is, um, say like at the base of a tree like right here and then I can find focus in the dark and then take it away and make the photo. I use a headlamp with a red light because the intensity is much lower than the white or the green lights and I'm trying to respect the habitat of the firefly but I rarely use the headlamp and normally just let my eyes adjust to the dark in the night but when it comes to adjusting any of the settings on my camera or any of the equipment uh, having the light is just really crucial. The wireless remote timer is one of the most important pieces of gear because it lets me take exposures lasting longer than 30 seconds. One of the most challenging aspects of photographing the fireflies is the changing light conditions. Sometimes you have a clear sky and a full moon blasting shadows that move throughout your exposure. Moving shadows during your exposure. That's hard. Sometimes you get sunset before the moon rises, but maybe there's a low cloud ceiling that is reflecting light from the local area. The clouds move, the moon moves, and the fireflies are a bit unpredictable. All my firefly photos are single frame exposures typically lasting 30 seconds to four minutes. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments as long as it's not about the location. I have prints and postcards available on my website, sodacitizen.com, linked in the description.